You tubes heading out to my cap tube job I always like to schedule those for early in the morning when there's no one on the cooks line so you can get swimming in it and you can get your you can swim your laps inside the cooler and get your groove on and we're heading out there and I'll take you along for the ride not too early of a start it's like 639 a little NorCal action Let's get out there. Oh yeah, we had the, the first storm of the year came through last night and for today. Uh, here in California, we usually have like the Mediterranean climate, so it really doesn't rain from June, usually through October. And you can pretty much count on it not raining. And then, the rainy season's usually November, December, January, February, March, April, sometimes into May. Not usually not though. And this is this is early in the season, which is another good sign after the huge winter we had last year. And you know, anything to stay away from the droughts, I think's good, so that's where we're at. All right, check it out they did me a solid so <clears throat> that's the restaurant where we found the cap tube plug there's my van this is their storeroom like spare equipment room and they have multiple prep tables so they, they actually switched the prep table out so i get to work on it in here in the storeroom which has a roof leak which is cool and uh but it just makes not being in the way so much better i'm gonna find some cardboard to put down inside there then I'll bring you guys along for, you gotta take this rail off right here. Take the cover off to get access to the evaporator coil and all the goodies. And this thing's hammered big time. You take, I take the first two plastic screws off from the bottom. I leave the third one in and then coming back around from behind is two quarter inch screws. Take those out and then this piece will come off. And that's where I like to get started. The cover is going to come off with the thermostat intact. It's just the four plastic thumb screws. <clears throat> that's it. Four plastic thumb screws. Let's get those off and we'll get that out of there. All right, are you ready for it? Let's see what it looks like behind here. If I can break it loose slowly. Oh, yeah, it's got, I got it. Get my screwdriver across or my knife across the silicone right there. Oh. Let's see what this looks like here. Whew. There it is. We got our thermostat. Coil. Yeah, this one still doesn't look too bad. Fan blade's a little greasy. And then over here, we should have our cap tube on this side, but... I'm going to disconnect the thermostat so I can get this panel out of here, out of my way. There's our cap tube connected right there. Coming off the coil. You can see this side of the coil has already ate the coating off. But I'll put some flux on there and then sweat that out. Hopefully it'll come out clean. And that's the little trick I do on that one. There it is. I got the flux on it. I'm going to heat it up and sweat it out of there. goes down underneath to the condensing unit. Workflow. I'll be swimming in it up in here. 
But I get to jam out to my new jam. Bend up my solder like that so I can get behind. And I got the new cap tube sticking in there like that. And we got to braise it up. I'd love to bring you guys along to braise it up, but it just won't. Uh, can't do my flashlight and the uh, GoPro at the same time. I don't have enough room to get in there. So I'm just going to have to braise it up and then show you guys. But you get the idea. All right, we got our cap tube in the vap we got our new liquid line dryer here what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put some subco 88 oil in this system and i'll show you how i do that here just a couple droppers full and then push it down into the oil into the compressor oil from my access fitting all right there it is the subco 88 i'll put about two eye droppers full in here push it down with nitrogen into the compressor oil and it helps keep the cap tubes from plugging up and whatnot look it's scientifically special formulated cut repeat calls by as much as 88 <laughs> percent hell yeah brother go for it all right i got the subco in Shot it down with the nitrogen into the oil. Now I got my pressure test going. We are going pressure test. And then um, when I get it back on, uh, well, after it passes the pressure test, I get it on the vacuum pump, I'll start the rebuild of the coil over here. And then we'll start rebuilding the coil and all that kind of fun stuff and getting this all back together. But we're gonna let it we're gonna let it work its pressure test here. Alright, I got this dude on the vacuum pump, getting my rebuild all back together. Yeah, this thing's hammered. It is what it is. Um and then we'll be a uh we'll get her charged up and get her tested out. There it is, little pile of goodies. Cap tube, liquid line dryer, not much to it. Honestly, um, just a pain in the butt to get into that coil. Um, what I didn't show you guys was I, I wasn't able to get the cap tube out cleanly. Um, right here. And I ended up on the inside piece, I ended up having to cut it so I could get the new one in. So sometimes it goes like that. Sometimes they'll come out, sometimes they'll break off. Mine broke off. Then it's a real, it turns into a real game of Murphy's. Um, so we'll get some gas in here and we'll see how this thing looks and how it cools. All right, here we go, we're getting started here. 60 degrees. 17 degree evaporator, 95 condenser. Not bad. That looks pretty good right there. 19 degree evaporator, 97 condensing. Let's see how our temperature's falling out of the sky there. Oh, that looks good. Heading in the right direction. Look, there's the old DL429, still alive after all these years. I keep this meter in this setup over here. Broken zipper. This is broken zippers. I have Mr. Tippins and broken zippers. All right, now I hate these freaking zippers. I wish they'd make a repair kit that's just Velcro. What I need, I should probably figure out how to do that myself. Cause it's a cool tool bag and I like it. I should figure out a way to Velcro, make a little Velcro strap for that. Just maybe a button right here and a, maybe another button right there, snapper little snapper because I like this tool bag a lot it's just the zippers toast $200 broken zipper should be about ready to turn off on thermostat here look at that kicking butt <laughs> That's awesome. 
when I bent up a little condensate loop for tomorrow's job while I had this unit on the vacuum pump um, you know just trying to be crafty with my time I got a Charleston I'm gonna do a evaporator and a TXV and the condensate loop on tomorrow and so now I got my condensate loop I just keep these long so then I can make it fit um, when I get to the unit that was it for the cap tube shuffle um, I'm gonna go where I bring you guys along for this ice maker it's been going off on high head I haven't had a chance to dig into it for the customer um, but I'm gonna make time for him today because he really wants that ice machine to work it sits on top of a soda fountain it's a beater it's probably gonna need a mega cleanup probably I got to figure out a way to clean the condenser which I might just take the pump sprayer in there and just let it rip and uh, maybe get my shop vac in there for cleanup they're gonna be busy it's a it's a busy taqueria and but I got to go for it uh, and I'm, look like the I don't know probably it might just be a dirty condenser that needs a deep clean and it's in a terrible location and it overheats and but I'll bring you guys along. Let's go check it out. Grand motor time. Hot as a pistol. Right. I got one batch of ice out of it. Huge problem is it doesn't have the proper clearance from the wall. And that's our returner. I made a baffle out of cardboard for the condenser. I deep clean the condenser, replace the condenser fan motor. And yeah, it's a problem when it gets hot in here. We'll see if it'll make batch number two. I'm getting the uh, ice thickness all dialed in. <laughs> 